All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back from the post fight discussion video. All right, y'all, women's boxing. Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields back in her home. She's back on, she's back on her home territory. Boxing. That's right. <laughs> Clarissa Shields versus Emma Cozen. Um, as y'all know, Clarissa Shields, you know, she's been trying to make her waves throughout the world at WMMA. You know, last fight didn't go her way. But I knew coming back to boxing, you know, this wasn't really going to mess up her groove. Uh, throughout this fight here, you know, she looked confident, comfortable. She looked cool, just like she always does, you know, because this is her game, you know. So I didn't really expect uh, any kind of uh, drop in her performance here, just just off of what happened in the world of WMMA. So with that being said, um, Clarissa Shields versus Emma Cozen. Um, this was just another boxing clinic from Clarissa Shields. You know, um, I like the fact that she's uh, invading the UK because you know what fight she's looking for, which we're going to talk about at the end of this video. But um, I like the fact that Clarissa Shields, she's not afraid to, you know, go to enemy territory. And she's not afraid to go where the money is. You know what I mean? That's that's what she has to do. You know, she's always calling out names. She's always looking for challenges. So I got to give her a lot of respect. So once again, you know, she signed off on, on a good deal uh, to fight over here in the UK to build up to this potential fight with Savannah Marshall. And the performance she put on here was a good boxing clinic. I know some people are going to say she didn't get the knockout, but this is what you want to see from a young, hungry champion. You know, Clarissa Shields said, look, I'm not overlooking savannah marshall but i'm gonna still go in here and make a statement and she did that you know she pretty much cleaved up uh, emma cozen for 10 rounds you know what i mean she went in there boxed a good fight you know um just uh, just overall controlled every single round you know it's pretty much she a, a shutout that she pitched so she she's definitely looking at the bigger picture here you know clarissa seals is not one to overlook a fighter you know she went in here did what she had to do and got it done you know to move on to the next level um Emma Cozen really didn't pose too many threats. I saw her land a couple of left hands in here as Clarissa was pulling back, you know, which is something that she'll probably have to just work on because Savannah, you know, she has a little bit more pop to her game. So overall, um, I think Clarissa Shield, you know, her punch output, you know, was just too much for uh, Emma Cozen, just overwhelming her. You know, first round was a you know bit of a feel out round with the jab. But then in the second round, she just started turning it up with combinations to the body, you know, a lot of uh, right uh, right hooks to the body, left hooks and going back upstairs and just really stunning Emma Cozen um, with those right hooks, you know, um, hitting her, on, you know, even on the guard, around the guard, uh, shooting her jab straight up the middle, you know, throughout these rounds. And she just kept turning it up from 7, 8, and high 10. I, I thought they were going to stop it because there were a few times where Emma Cozen was just taking hits and looked like she was stumbling. But, um, you know, overall, she could take the power. But I would say the one thing about Clarissa, like, I like the output she, she was putting in, but I just think she doesn't have to look for the knockout. You know, I think she's looking for the knockout with each shot. You know, maybe if again, if she kind of turns it down to, you know, like the rhythm shots, you know, if you just use some flick shots, some blinding shots, and then save that big shot for the, you know, the last punch or, you know, throw it in the middle somewhere, you know, just don't make make every single shot, you know, stiff and hard. You know, it has to be like some pity pat shots that just kind of flick and blind and then boom, they don't expect the power shot. You know, she throws strong punches overall, you know, she turns over nice shots, but I think that that's where, um, the knockouts don't come in, you know, because Clarissa has size and strength. So I think if she kind of puts it together more with, you know, setting up a couple of big, big shots instead of, you know, every single consistent shot being, you know, hard and powerful, you know, she'll probably get the knockout, you know, and I think, you know, more straight right hands, you know, she was throwing a lot of good switchblade rights where she was like throwing that right hook to the body up to the head. I think, you know, she could have broke through the guard more if she would have just threw straight right hands, you know, straight right hands to the to the bread basket or straight down the guard would definitely hit the chin. I know she was going for that side of the ear and side of the jaw, but if she goes straight up the middle with straight right hands to the chin or, you know, straight to the nose, she'll start breaking stuff, you know, breaking and breaking that nose, opening cuts up. And, you know, like I said, hitting that bread basket right down the middle. So maybe a few more straight right hands from Clarissa Shields. But overall, you know, she just cleaved up Emma Cozen, like I said, you know, 10, 10 and 0. Um, so yeah, dominant performance, dominant return by Clarissa. But let's talk about let's talk about the build up to the fight that we all want to see here. <laughs> Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall, you know, she was ringside and um, you know, she was making it known that she was there and she was also making it known how she felt about Clarissa Shields' performance like halfway through. Like, you know, they kept putting the camera on Savannah Marshall showing her reaction and then one one time they showed her, you know, she made it act like, you know, she was nodding off, like she was about to fall asleep, you know, basically saying that Clarissa couldn't get her out the get her out the ring because you know savannah marshall she's known i won't say she's known as a, as a clear-cut knockout artist but she's known as a heavy hitter you know going by the competition that she's been facing you know so um 
she's kind of been building up some knockouts and she has more knockouts than Clarissa Shields. So she's looking at looking at it like, oh, she can't get this girl out of here. What's she going to do with me? So when, um, you know, Clarissa is doing her ringside interview, you know, post fight interview, um, they mentioned Savannah Marshall and so Clarissa's like, oh, she right behind, you, you know, they're going to bring over and Clarissa welcomed her over there. You know, Clarissa basically said the reason I'm here is, you know, I want to get through this fight and I want Savannah Marshall next. Right. So right there. I love that energy. You know, she let it know, let, let it be known. That's who she wants next. Savannah Marshall comes over. Savannah Marshall, you know, they they dap up. And Savannah Marshall gives her thought on the performance. She was basically like, if you think if you if that was your best performance or if you perform like that against me, she was like, I'll wipe the floor with you. You know, Clarissa was like, hey, you need to translate that because she couldn't understand her. You know, so um, from right there, whenever the announcer, and you know, basically broke it down and said she said, you know, she was going to wipe the floor with Clarissa, she set them belts down and she got in her face and she basically said, look, you a bum. And, you know, she was going to beat her. She was like, hey, that's why I'm here. You need to get past your opponent March 12th and then we can do this, you know. So they were kind of going back and forth. And I think Clarissa kind of got the best of the exchange when she brought up the medals. You know, she was like, where are your medals at, you know? And um, I guess the promoter, Savannah Marshall, he was saying that this is the real GOAT in Savannah Marshall because she has the win over Clarissa. But you got to remember, that was like 10 years ago when they were teenagers. So now that they're grown and they're professional, you know, this is where it counts. Of course, that builds up history. You know, that does kind of stand for something because this person can say, I'm the only person that has defeated you at any point in your life, right? So that kind of does stand for just a little bit. But I mean, since then, Clarissa's been the best women's boxer in the game, right, to date. And Savannah still has a lot to prove on this professional level. You know, that's pretty much facts. You know, but um, Clarissa, um, she pretty much got it in whenever she said that, you know, she was like, hey, she, you know, I, I got where your, where your medals at, <laughs> you know, where your medals at. So Savannah Marshall, you know, she, you know, I could see her getting a little hit. She was kind of red in the face there. And, you know, it was just a lot of go, going back and forth from there until they ended it. Uh, but I, 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 I love this buildup. I have to say I can't I can't wait any longer, man. I can't contain myself because we've been looking for something like this for women's box for a long time. Right now we got Katie Taylor and uh, we got uh, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano going down in April. Then we got this potential fight going down this summer, uh, you know, after uh, Savannah Marshall has her fight in March. And it, it's going down from there. You know, this is the best in pound for pound, pound for pound in women's boxing right now that we finally get these matchups. And these are going to be the biggest paydays for all of these ladies. You know, they're going to be hitting uh, million dollar paydays. And, you know, I got to say shout out to them, you know, because they they've been cleaning out their divisions they've been calling each other out and this is what you want ringside like when it's the fight that everybody wants you got to acknowledge that whenever they when they finally come together and they acknowledge each other and say hey look we're going to do this as soon as you get past your fight we're going to do this right that's how it's supposed to be but uh shout out to clarissa again because people just don't understand that she's in Savannah Marshall's home territory. She had to go there, even though she's considered the best pound for pound women fighter today and has the has the most titles. She had to go and hunt down Savannah Marshall. Like she couldn't bring that fight here. She had to go there, get the deal to go to the UK and get it done. So again, I got to take my hat off to Clarissa. You know, she's not being a, a diva about this. She said, look, I want these fights. I'm going to get it. So yeah, man, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Um, Women's boxing, you know, it's, it's definitely picking up here. You know, we also got Michaela Mayer, uh, Alicia Baumgartner probably going to happen at some point. Um, you know, so a lot going on, you know, a lot going on here. I'm going to talk about this fight in another video here because this is the energy that we want to see, you know, from other boxers and other WMMA fighters, right? So, yeah, guys, that's all I got on this one. Let me know what y'all think. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.